Hey, what's going on guys? Jake Newby here. Welcome back to another video. Now, if you are new here, I make videos all about photography and filmmaking. So if that's something you're interested in, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on those. Now, I'm super excited today because I'm actually gonna be releasing my motion graphic templates for you guys today, 100% for free on my Selfie store. Now, this pack is gonna come with five different motion graphic templates, um, but in future packs, I plan to release uh, packs that come with 30 to 50 different templates all within one and like I said it's all going to be 100% for free to you guys so make sure you don't miss out on those. So very quickly I do just want to run through the pack show you guys what it looks like in After Effects um, you know how to access the different, different templates and go about editing them if you guys want to change some stuff customize them um, to get the look that you guys are going for. So all that being said let's go ahead and jump into After Effects here. Okay, so as you guys open up After Effects, um, when you open up my template pack, you'll see that there are four different comps here, Motion Graphic 1, Motion Graphic 2, Motion Graphic 4, and 5. Um, and no, I did not forget about 3. I actually put 2 and 3 in the same um, composition here. But we'll start off with number 1, and as you guys can see, um, it's just a simple line that comes out, text comes out behind it, scales up, and then closes back down again. Motion Graphic 2, this is where I put 2 and 3 together, so we'll play 2 first. You can see the edit text comes from the bottom, and then the other text comes in from the top. It's a really nice subtle transition. And then we'll move on to Edit Graphic 3, so this is the third graphic. And you can see it's this nice swipe up from the bottom. So then we'll go on to Motion Graphic 4. And you can see it kind of comes from each side. So the top and the bottom are coming in from, um, are swiping over from the uh, left to the right, and then the middle text is swiping from the right to the left. And then when it closes out, it does the same thing, but opposite. And then for Motion Graphic 5, this one's pretty simple. It creates a box around the text. Use the render time here. And the text falls out behind the, the top line there. So you have this really nice, simple um, rectangle around the text. And then this one should as well. Um, it does have an outro as well, so excuse the render. And there you go. Pretty simple stuff. Now, the beauty about all this stuff, guys, is that it's completely modular. You guys are more than welcome to edit them however you'd like. Um, I, per I personally left them um, like this, like where they're pretty basic for a reason. Um, I want you guys to be able to edit them however you'd like. So, um, for example, if you guys want to throw drop shadows on there, you can do that and you get a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. Um, and you guys can play with the drop shadow. If you guys want to change like the parameters of any of these, so let's say you want to change, um, for example, the color of uh, this red text. Um, what I did is I just opened up the, uh, the composition for Edit Graphic 3 by just double clicking on it. And then you can see I have it right here. And so we want to change the color of this text right here. So um, what we'll do is we'll just double click on it and come over here and you can change the text to whatever color you would like. And the same goes for this bottom text as well. Um, all you have to do is just click on where it says insert text and change it however you would like. So it's very, very simple. Um, and this is the same for if you guys, you know, obviously you're gonna be changing what the, what the text says itself. So again, you know, you just select that text layer, delete what's there and then you can type in whatever you'd like. And so yeah, they're really customizable, guys. Um, even if, if you know After Effects a little bit and you wanna change uh, you know, some of this movement, um, go for it. Start opening up um, the layers here and, and, and play with the different keyframes. So I encourage you guys to, to change them however you'd like. So I really hope this pack helps you guys in some sort of way. Like I said, they're yours, 100% for free. Use them for your school projects or your paid projects or your personal projects doesn't matter, they're royalty free, whatever you guys wanna use them for, they're yours, please do so. Um, now, like I said, I am gonna be offering more packs in the future as well as LUTs, 
Premiere Pro presets, um, transition, sound effects, the whole deal on this channel, 100% for free, all for you guys. Now, I kinda wanna make my channel somewhere that you guys can come to and get free assets to help you as a beginning, intermediate, or even an advanced filmmaker to just help your uh, workflow easier um, when you're doing filmmaking and photography. So make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of those. But that's pretty much gonna be it, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you, and we will see you in the next one.